Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve the E4 error in your HP DeskJet printer. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using the HP DeskJet 2810E. However, all the HP DeskJets are pretty much the same thing. Um, if you have a 2600, 2700 or 2800 series, because there's lots of models in those, um, this should also work. The clearing of paper jam might be slightly different on each of them. However, um, fundamentally they're the same and they all have the same buttons. So the first thing is first, let's go through. You may have gone online, you may have Googled what the error is and people give you all sorts of answers and solutions. I always think the best way to do it is to go to the source and this is the manual. You may have thrown this away once you set up the printer, but I kept it for the purpose of teaching you how to fix your printer. So. E4, what is E4? Well, E4 is a paper jam. Um, what's the suggested solution? It says clear jam in input or clean out era or era area. So that's that. Well, if you have an E4, that means that there is some paper stuck somewhere in your printer and um, it can be very annoying to clear out. Now, I'd say 95% of paper jams um, can be cleared up very easily. So the first thing you want to try when you get a paper jam is simple. It's this red button here. It's the cross. This is the cancellation button. And what this does is it immediately stops any print job that is active. So first things first, click that. Now, if that doesn't clear the error, it's fine because there are a lot more ways that we can check. So there's kind of three areas that you want to check your printer. First one is the output area. And this is essentially where your printing is coming out of. Some errors will have, um, due to some errors, there might be some paper stuck over here, stuck out here that you might need to, and it, it might feel like you're breaking the printer, but you're gonna have to sometimes just slowly pull it out. Um, sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's not ideal, and you're gonna wanna really make sure that the paper doesn't rip while you're pulling it out, because the last thing you want is for there to be a piece of paper stuck inside that you can't reach, because sometimes, in very rare cases, this can render your printer useless, and that is not ideal in the slightest. So first things first, check this area. If you wanna get a better look, you can actually pull this um, cover down, and this is where pretty much most of your uh, printer jams will be. If this ink thing gets in the way, you, you actually can just move it back, and um, you'll be able to see any paper that's stuck anywhere. Be very careful. There are some fragile pieces in there, that one that just went boing. Um, so yeah, I'll shut that. And we'll look in the second area to clear a jam. So the second most common area for a jam is in the is in the paper input tray. Now the paper input tray is this fancy looking thing that comes in and out and is quite hidden when you first use the printer. And you can't really see very clearly into there. But sometimes you can have a piece of paper sticking out ever so slightly. You might need to wax it out with your finger. Um, but... Um, yeah, this is the first, this is the second place I'd recommend checking. If you can't see not even the slightest piece of paper sticking out, then maybe you need to go into the third place. And the third place involves actually turning this printer upside down. Um, there's an entire section right beneath here in the manual which teaches you how to clear the paper jam. So I'll show you. They recommend you first turn off the printer, which I highly recommend. Um, they say to lower the input tray and close out the tray extender. That's, that's this at the back here. Turn the printer over, locate the clean out door at the bottom, pull on both tabs to open it, remove the jam, and then close the clean out door and then turn it back on. So let's turn this printer around and try and clear this error. So this is the backside of the printer. Now, remember, you need to unplug your printer before turning upside down. If your printer is already upside down and it's still plugged in, take this opportunity to unplug it. You don't want to damage this um, inexpensive piece of hardware. Um, so... As you can see over here, this is the clean out tray. Um, it's kept held in by two clips, one on the left, one on the right. And you just wanna flick this up and have a look if there's any more paper stuck. Now, usually you might see a piece of paper here. You might wanna thread it up like that and pull it out. Remember, you're gonna to wanna to be very careful when you're pulling out. You don't want it to rip and leave small shards of paper in there because you really won't be able to get those out. Now, luckily inside a printer, it's just a bunch of rollers and this and that. So as you're pulling out paper, it will just it should just roll out quite nicely. Um, but yeah, this is a quite a tiny uh, clean out tray. It's possibly the smallest one I've ever seen in a printer. But um, 
you know, it makes sense they've put it down here because um, this is likely where most of the jams uh, go to. But hopefully you won't, you don't have to get to the point where you have to turn it around. Um, once you've cleared out any paper from either here, the back or the front of the printer, you should be able to turn your printer back on and you will no longer have the infamous error, which is E4 paper jam. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this helped and have a nice day. Bye bye. Check my channel for any other videos related to the upside down HP desk chair. Thank you very much. Bye bye.